Oh wow, I should have easily got that kill, but okay. Whatever you say, the comeback, it's happening. Come on. Two hit markers? Three hit markers? Thank you. Jesus, bro. Oh, he's at 192? I got three hit markers with the launcher. I don't want to hear it. All right, yo, what's up, guys? Red Rack here, video for today. I wanted to do a BO4 SD video, but for some dumb reason, I decided to prestige. So I don't got any classes. So I'm going to rank up a little bit in, in, a, in some gun game, but there's a couple things I want to say anyway. So BO4 video or regular video commentary right here, then an SD video that I'll record later. And on top of that, an MW2 video, which if you haven't been seeing, I've been streaming and I, I always got to plug the stream because every time I, I plug the stream in a video, there's always people that didn't see the last video I made where I talked about the stream. So if you're not following the stream, first link in the description, you guys already know. I've been streaming there every day. I kind of want to start streaming on YouTube as well. Like I know it messes up with the algorithm, but there is a way you could stream on both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So I've been thinking about it, but for now I've been grinding out Twitch. It's really fun. So yeah, make sure you guys are following so that you guys can come into the streams. Cause yesterday I did an MW2 stream. It was like an open lobby where we basically had fast last and I got a bunch of, you know, fans and viewers and followers and we all played MW2 and it was a really good time. I ended up hitting like a really crazy shot, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a little sneak peek. Oh, or you can just look at my Twitch. It's in the clips on my Twitch, but yeah, you guys will see that shot in a future video, maybe next week or, or maybe even like over the weekend or before New Year's or after New Year's. I'll make an MW2 video where you guys will see that shot, but I want you guys to listen up. There's been a lot of questions because I know a lot of you guys recently saw the Red RC technically is over. If you saw the Red Twitter, it said, welcome our last recruit. Thank you. Welcome our last recruit, Red Aspect. So. What does that mean? That means Aspect apparently was the last recruit. And a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but a couple of people asked me, well, what about any trick shotters? Did any trick shotters get in? And the answer to that is, I guess not. I don't know. You know, I might even want to go like just full face cam to explain this because it, it, it's honestly not even that bad or that hard to explain. It, it's fairly simple. So it goes like this. The Red RC comes out. Of course, obviously, we made it for snipers and trick shotters and content creators and everybody. Everybody can go for it. You know, there's people that were streaming and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, you're not, we shouldn't have to make a recruit just because we feel like we had to. If this was my own team and I had full power, I'll tell you exactly who would have got in. Recital and Torn and Poovy, probably Fnatic and like a couple other people like that were like killing trick shotting. If this was my decision, those four would have been the first four people that I recruited. But unfortunately, the Red RC was only BO4. I wanted Recital in. I, me and Emma, we linked Recital in the chat. We, everyone talked about him. It was a BO4 only recruitment challenge, unfortunately. Recital honestly would have been in because he, because not only was he hitting clips, but he was also streaming and doing all, doing all the other stuff. So, he would have been in. Torn killed the BO4 RC. He would have been in. You know, a bunch of other people. You know, from Marv. Like I, I know, I know so many people that were in Marv just grinding that deserve to win the RC. But let me rephrase that. I know a lot of people from the Red RC that were in like Marv and like all these other smaller teams that did very well and hit a lot of clips. And that if it was my own personal team that I had full power, that I would have recruited them. But unfortunately. It, it, it dumbs down to this. I'm honestly just gonna read it straight out the chat because I, I actually didn't make a big deal out of it. I just questioned it and I talked about it with other people in the chat and we all came to the, the pretty much the same agreement. Like there's not a limit amount of spots. It's that if they're a good recruit or they're not a good recruit, that doesn't mean that 
Recital, Torn, and all those guys weren't good recruits, but you have it like this. You got a bunch of snipers. You know, the sniping scene is far more active as far as people trying to make videos and doing all that stuff on the sniping side of things than there are people on the trick shot side of things. And the bottom line is that there were so many people, and so many, some of them didn't even get in, that were snipers that were hitting so many good clips. And on top of that, they were grinding uploads, they were grinding streams, they were grinding clips, and they were they were doing it all. And it was BO4. And then you look at trick shotters, it's 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 not like, you know, other than me and Sean, you don't have a lot of, you know, people that are like trick shotting and like hitting clips and also streaming and recording videos and uploading consistently, streaming like like not trick shot no trick shotters are doing all that compared to all the snipers. So like we stated and we all agreed on this it wouldn't be fair if we picked up a trick shot recruit just because we felt the pressure like we had to do it just because we felt like we had to do it as like a pr move essentially we didn't want to feel that pressure and we wouldn't we didn't want to recruit someone just because we feel like we had to when there were other recruits that are snipers that wouldn't have gotten in if they were recruited even though the snipers were not only hitting the clips but also streaming and uploading consistently so the offer is still out there and there's no limited spots i'm telling you guys right now there is no limited spots if torn and recital and all these guys that were like hitting clips and poopy and all these guys were actually showing you know that they're hitting consistent and then they're also uploading and making videos and and like streaming every day and 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 all that good jazz there's no limited spots like we said it ourselves in 2019 we actually i'm not even sure how much intel this is but i mean i could say this i could say this as a loose statement this isn't me spilling intel but in 2019 we plan on doing a lot more recruitment challenges like we plan on doing a uh, more consistent recruitment challenge usually a red rc is like a twice a year thing maybe once a year maybe like a summer rc and a new year's rc you know you know every six months or whatever but we want to do some really consistent stuff and i wish i could say one of the ideas that they had for the starting at the very beginning not the very beginning but starting in the first few months but i just i just can't say the ideas man but i'm really excited because hopefully re trick shot recruits will get picked up from that stuff and sorry if i'm like not talking perfectly i'm really trying to like gather all my thoughts and try to say what i want to say the best i can for you guys to understand what i'm trying to say but like if you, it's not it doesn't take that much to think about it it makes sense you know obviously there's not as much trick shotters out there making content and doing you know streams and all this stuff then there are snipers of the people that went for the rc you look at the trick shotters and you look at the snipers there are far more snipers that were really putting in the extra effort and doing, you know, all the stuff we wanted and was doing only BO4. I would love to pick up some Cop, but they wanted BO4 only. I can understand why. I'm not gonna argue with it. If it was my team, I'd have a COD4 trick shot or have a BO4 trick shot. Or I'd, I'd have everything. I have some MW2 trick shotters. I get recital in, all that good stuff. But it's not all my choice. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, me being one of the, you know, trick shotter people, it's like a lot of that kind of falls into me. Like, even though I had no control over it, a lot of that, I wouldn't say hate, but a lot of the blame and a lot of the questions fall to me. And I'm the one that has to answer for a decision that wasn't fully my decision. Because if it was my full 100% choice, those people would have been picked up. But it, it, it wasn't. It was a group decision. But I have you have to see everyone's point of view. And there was far more snipers that it would just would not have been fair if we picked up trick shot recruits just because we felt like we had to in order to make it like a PR move. They would have taken the spots of the snipers who deserved it. Of sni Ugh, that sounds so bad. It, it, it sounds like I'm saying they didn't deserve it. Like the trick shotters that really killed the RC. It sounds like I'm saying they didn't deserve it, but of course they deserved it. But it's like you have someone that's hitting clips, but also streaming and uploading content every day, like Aspect and all these other people that got in uh, as snipers on the red RC, it just, it wouldn't have been fair to them. And they would have not have gotten in because we felt like the pressure was on to recruit a trick shotter just because we had to. We want someone that's ready, that's gonna fit in, and that's gonna be able to benefit from red and also someone that's gonna be able to help out red. And at the end of the day, we weren't 100% sure if, if any of the trick shotters would have been able to fit their criteria we want someone that can prove that they're a thousand and million percent ready which is why we're gonna do hella more rcs in the 2019. you guys could tell i'm not comfortable talking about this because like the people that i wanted in red the most are gonna watch this video 
and they're and they're and i just don't want anyone to get like demotivated and i also know that the longer we wait the worse it gets the less people are gonna even want to join as a trick shot snipers are like like everyone want every sniper wants to join red it's insane but like i know the longer we wait it's like i don't know the longer it takes, the the harder it just it just gets. So I I just I really hope that we could do something, you know. So yeah, this kind of went from a little bit more hyped up to a little bit more serious. But yeah, I just I I kind of wanted that off my chest and out of the way because I know that there's gonna be people asking about it, and there already have been people asking about it. So like you said on the red Twitter, I think that was the final red red RC recruit, my man Aspect, and I'm gonna link. I'm gonna link uh, all the new recruits down in the description if you guys didn't see all the new people that got in red. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for rambling on over nothing, but here's a trick shot. <laughs> Seriously guys, here's a little happy part. I was playing on live stream BO4 like two days ago. I smacked an insane shot. If you were in the live stream, you definitely saw it. It was absolutely insane. I, I went for the Sui grapple and I got to inspect with the Kashka and I did the little thing animation where you like hit the little thing on the It was cool. All right. It was a cool shot. So here's a shot. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Rhetoric and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, that was nice. Oh, what'd you hit? I mean, hit today. I hit a lefty. That's about it. Bro, I think Red just hit something. I hit the Sui. Oh, oh shit, dude. Oh, yes. oh shit, dude. That was that nice. Was kidding. Let's go. That was so nice. Go. Oh. Fuck yes.